These are Hosni Mubarak supporters inside the courtroom celebrating what they describe as a long-awaited justice. The verdict is fair and by God's will Mubarak and all of his charged assistants will be found innocent. There was nothing to prove that he killed the protesters. It was just the fact that he did not protect the protesters, nothing more. But he did not kill the protesters. There's a difference between killing and negligence. Would an employee in a company be fired just for being careless? This court has traditionally thrown out convictions on procedural grounds. A new panel of judges will now be looking into the case and setting the date for a new trial. Mubarak, his sons and the former interior minister will remain in jail as they're still facing separate corruption charges in other trials. Six interior minister aides who were on trial in the same case were previously acquitted, prompting anger over why the police force had been spared. They too will now be retried. In Cairo's Tahrir Square, the birthplace of the revolution, those we spoke to were skeptical about the outcome. It's all a waste of time. Mubarak and his aides will be spared somehow. We have no faith anymore after seeing so many former regime figures set free. The Egyptian judiciary is functioning at the speed of a turtle. This slow justice is tantamount to injustice. It's been two years, and those who died have not been redeemed. All along, lawyers, rights activists and even the judge handling the initial trial were complaining about the weak case put forward by the prosecution. But things could change in Mubarak's new trial. A new fact-finding committee commissioned by President Mohamed Morsi says there's fresh evidence against Mubarak and his aides. And a new prosecution office formed to look into crimes committed during the revolution has been given the report. Much of what's to come will depend on the contents of this new report, details of which are yet to be made public. For almost two years now, many Egyptians have complained that justice has eluded post-revolution Egypt. The police force has not been reformed and those behind multiple rounds of violence have not been held to account. Hosni Mubarak's fate has always been a sore topic with consistent violence outside the courtroom during the trial's proceedings. There are concerns the new trial could once again stir emotions at a time when the country is struggling to fix its economy. Rawiyaragh Al Jazeera, Cairo.